Hi everyone, um, it's been a while since I actually posted a video and um, been extremely busy with so much and with school and with, you know, uh, Rosh Hashanah's happened and recently it was Yom Kippur and so I've been really busy with um, going to this um, Maisiana synagogue and it's been amazing and I'm really between that and well, I've been wanting to celebrate the um, holiday, uh, the Jewish holiday feast and stuff. It's, it's quite interesting and I've learned a lot about a lot of things and uh, I've been to discuss this um, uh, the, it's discussing um, how how the the Jewish priests are very uh, symbolic to to all the all the things that are gonna come to pass because the Bible says that um it says in the Bible about the um feast are foreshadows of of what's to come. Now first, I'd like to talk about. Uh, Rosh Hashanah, even though, like I say, even though it's already gone, past, and so forth, but still very, very important um, to really understand, to, to understand it, uh, understand what it's about, um, and and how it's very symbolic to, uh, you know to the marriage supper of the Lamb, which is, um, the, the marriage supper of, uh, Yeshua the Messiah, and, um, and how it will be when he gathers up his bride. Now, there's, some. Um, that, you know, will say, oh, it's, no, no, not Rosh Hashanah, you know, and there are some that will say, you know, that he'll return some other time, but Rosh Hashanah is called the Feast of Trumpets. <laughs> Sorry, I just pinched myself, that's why I was in the house. Um, it's called the Feast of Trumpets, but it's also, um, it's also called, also, also related to the anniversary of the birth of the world when God, Yahweh, had, um, created the world and how, um, he rested on the seventh day and how this, um, Rosh Hashanah is basically the, the anniversary of, um, creation of the world and God created the world. Um, it's also called the Day of Judgment when the Lord opens, uh, when God opens up the, the Book of Life um, and, and there's another thing that I also found out um, that it's also considered to be the coronation of the Messiah. Now, there's also something else um, after Rosh Hashanah, which really caught my eye. Um, but, not to get off track, there's also what's called the Mat Elu, and it's 40 days before um, Rosh Hashanah. And it leads up to the first day of um, Tishri, which is the um, the month when Rosh Hashanah starts, and that Rosh Hashanah is also the beginning of the new year. And there's you think of all the days of Ah, and the days of Ah go from Tishri one, the first day of Tishri, to the to um, the Yom Kippur, which is the day of atonement, where the Book of Life um, is closed, and God, is, God's judgment is final. 
and I seem to find really good uh, resources with hebookforchristians.net. It's a very good um, thing to use because if you really um, want to, you know, know more about it and and everything. But also during those forty days is when we're called to repent. I mean, yes, we should repent every day. Um, all the time, but this is really specific to um, to, to to the Jews of them repenting during this time, which is Teshuva, and um, that's about it. That I really don't. I'm like I said, I'm just learning, so I thought I'd put this video in and I wrote some notes about it. And also, it's blowing. Like I said, it's called the Feast of Trumpets and. It's the bone of the trumpet. And, you know, when, during uh, Rosh Hashanah, um, they have what's called a Rev Rosh Hashanah service, which I was, I actually went to, and it made me want to go back and be at the synagogue a lot more. Because uh, when I stepped into the synagogue, it was like, the Holy Spirit hit me like a ton of bricks. I, I couldn't believe the, the, the feeling I was getting and, and how much I felt his presence there. And how peaceful and how peace I was with myself and how and how much I felt like like I finally was home. Like I finally was done searching for what I was searching for. And um, the traditions of Rosh Hashanah is like um, we like the candle lighting and they dip apples or jala, which is the bread, and honey. Um, I didn't do any of that. Like I said, I just really didn't know much about anything. Um, typically, it's round uh, around around jala that that gets made. And uh, then after Rosh Hashanah, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, there's 10 days of repentance. And I'll read this part. It says, as mentioned above, this is uh, in this article on Hebrew for Christians, I'm posting in the links. As mentioned above, most people are nearly entirely righteous or nearly entirely wicked. On the day of Rosh Hashanah, the Ezra Yemi Teshuvah, or 10 days of repentance, provide a time for us to repent and turn wholeheartedly to the Lord in order to be sealed into the Book of Life. These days set the tone for the coming Most Holy Day of Atonement, Teshuvah, and Tehillia, or Tezach, Repentance, Prayer, and Charity. These are the spiritual virtues of the high holy days and the mood of the the Tashik, Tashik ceremony is based upon their heightened observance. Um, if I'm saying something or pronouncing things wrong, please forgive me. I really don't know much, and you know, so I I really am not. Very good. So, then you have recently uh, we had Yom Kippur, and um, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I spent the whole day in the synagogue. It was amazing. I had a really good experience. Made some new friends and met some new people, which was really nice. And currently, between Olo and Yom Kippur, it's called the season of Shiva, because between the first day of Olo after uh, until after Yom Kippur is the time when that the Jews devote that whole time to repentance. 
which to me we can learn a lot from and this is just basically you know the to today that they believe that when they say if they're sincere and uh, repentance that they'll that they'll achieve the atonement for their sins. And let's see. What's coming up soon, which is it's called Sukkot, but Sukkah is like a tent. And they go and they build these tents and they're probably building them now in different parts of the world. Um, if you live in a predominantly Jewish neighborhood, you can probably see them like right on the lawns or people's yards. They'll have the suckers right there. Um, I also wanted to... talk about and you know, like I said it's a shadow of what's to come and need and it also prepares us to be patient for uh, Yeshua's return. Now why Rosh Hashanah be in the rapture and day judgment um is because everything and that that Yeshua Jesus did he always did it on a high holy day and like his birth the temple I mean when his birth was on the first day of Scott he was born on the first day of Sukkot. And, I mean, his baptism when he was in the temple at 12 years old, when he, he was crucified, you know, that was during a high holy day, when his resurrection happened, it was during Passover. Um, in the rapture, like I said, conceived with, um, Rosh Hashanah, and some say Rosh Hashanah, some say the Feast of Tabernacles, which is Sukkot. But now, not to be confused with Sukkot and Sukkah, Sukkah is is the single word, it's singular for it, meaning tent. Um, Sukkot is is like plural. And the reason why they celebrate Sukkot is because uh, when the uh, Israelites were in the wilderness for 40 years. Um, they're called, not just called tents, they're called temporary dwelling places. And when they were dwelling in the desert 40 years, um, they, when they had the tabernacle, they would place these sukkahs, sukkahs all around the surrounding of the tabernacle. And you know, it's to remind uh, Jews that, you know, of once of, of, of their exodus and and how the, how God freed them from being in the situation that they were in. Um, and, you know, the thing that really raises a lot of people's concern is should a Christian celebrate these feasts? Um, why Rosh Hashanah? Rapture, Day of Judgment. Um, the one thing that, that I like to make clear, uh, Yeshua celebrated all these feasts, kept his father Yahweh's Sabbath, and he learned the Hebrew and learned the Torah. So, we should also do the same as believers in Yeshua. May Jesus bless you.